Hey everyone and welcome back to Silver Run Forest for the next episode in our Let's Play series on what is a very nice pleasant October morning. So just gone past 8 in the morning, that's a very nice view of the roller coaster just with the sunlight, it's a slightly silhouette of the roller coaster there, looking very nice. So our soybeans are ready to harvest, I did mention at the end of the last episode that we could possibly be back in October and November. So the soybeans are ready, so the plan for today is to get the soybeans harvested. We're also going to get a final cut for this year on our grass field, which we'll do for silage. We can then join these two fields together. So what we'll do is try and find somewhere we can drop the header off and then get it hooked up to the combine. And then over winter we'll be concentrating on extending field three is one of the jobs I want to get done so we'll need to clear the trees from around that so we can extend that field slightly and there's also the rest of the farm buildings I want to get so we've got a little bit more storage space for all our equipment so possibly at the top there where the farmhouse is we'll look to replace that and potentially get a, uh, some shedding up there don't know if I'm going to quite squeeze past this, just about. So we'll get this all unfolded. I always forget this combine takes a while to actually unfold. There we go. Lower the header down. And away we go with our final field to be harvested for this year. So again, we'll just put all the soybeans into our grain silo until we get a better price for them. Which I think soybeans isn't usually until around about June, so it'll be next summer. So we'll have to keep an eye on for that and re remember that we've actually got them in the silo. Okay, so 91% full on the combine and we should fit the entire field in that one tiny little, little bit left to do and that's all the soybeans done and all our crops harvested for this year and there we go so 11,240 litres I'll get that switched off get the beacons turned off because we don't need the warning So we'll get the combine unloaded direct into the silo. Although it does look like we're just tipping it straight to the floor because there's no grid. But there we go. Yeah, so 11,000 litres, which is not a huge amount, but it was only a small field. Um, but that is another job done. So next we'll get the grass done. Uh, actually, before we do the grass, we'll take this combine to the store. Uh, we do really need to sort out the shop area as well because we've got so much equipment parked up over here. So we'll swing around this way. 
And so we'll have to get those ones sold first so we can get the combine into the trigger. Alright, let's just do a for repair and repaint. And we'll sell that one. Sell the rollers and then the little sprayer. So 20,290 for those. Should get a little bit more for the combine. Uh, but it's not a particularly expensive combine, so we're not going to get a huge amount back for it. Repaint that and repair. Sell that and then sell the trailer. Okay, so it's, oh, it's 90,655 in total. I forgot the header was quite expensive actually. Well, most more expensive than the combine itself. So we're up to 934,655. Uh, but that's cleared all our equipment we no longer need. And while we're here, we'll jump into the John Deere. As we'll need this next to do the mowing. Okay, so mower all hooked up. We'll get it unfolded. Uh, just need to double check as well because it may still be set to mulching so we'll just check if I can get it to actually show up okay why is that not showing up I disconnect it see if that works there we go uh, customize and we want to turn mulcher off We don't want to mulch our grass, we want to actually mow it. So we'll get that hooked back up. Get that switched on and lowered down. And away we go, cutting our grass. So yeah, once we've cut the grass, we'll obviously row it all up, bale it, get the bales wrapped and we'll drop them off out of the way like we did last time. So it clears the field and then we can have a look at the cow sheds I've got installed. There's a couple of different ones I'm, I like the look of that I think will fit in nicely. Uh, it just depends on how well they actually fit in the space to decide which one we actually go for. And then once we've determined that then we'll know what part of the field will be left to utilise then to join to the, the other field. And then we can also finish off just around this sheep pasture as well. There's a little bit more work I want to do around that. Just to finish that area off. But something I wanted to do but I couldn't do until I knew where the cow shed was going to go. So we know what space we've got left to play with. last little bit of grass to do and then we can get it all rowed up uh, one thing I haven't checked today which I should do is the used equipment sales not sure if there'll be anything beneficial to us but it's always worth a check so we'll just get this dropped off and it looks like we could do with refueling the John Deere Oh, it's starting to run a little bit low on fuel. We should have enough to get the rowing done though. We may need to get it refueled before we do the bailing. So we'll just get the doors open so we can get to the rake. And we'll get that hooked up. get that unfolded while that unfolds we'll just quickly check the used equipment sales oh <laughs> typical i mean not that we were um 
really like desperate for money on this series, but I would one comes up in the used equipment sale fifty four percent off after we buy one. Uh, it's always the way. Uh, three hundred and sixty horsepower version. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that's any use to us really. Nope. It's always worth a check. So we'll get this load down and switched on. And yeah, we'll get all this raked up and then I say just a case of bailing it, getting the bales wrapped. Uh, so we'll drop the, the bales off like we did last time as we wrap them, we'll just drop them over there. Just so they're out of the way. And then we can look again this this new cow shed built. Alright, last little bit to rake up. And then we can get on with the bailing. Oh, there we go, that's another job done. I've got that folded up. A slightly weird way I've done that. <laughs> Normally I just do one pass round and then do the up downs, but I've kind of just kept going round in a circle. I'll get this one. Actually, we can put this out here now. And we've got a little bit more space in this shed. Uh, one thing I would like to try and do as well is if we can fit in next to the cow shed or possibly next to the sheep pasture over there is get a smaller shed for stacking the bales in. Uh, especially the straw bales and the silage bales as well. So we can keep them all in one place. So when we do total mix ration, all the bales are there accessible to drop in the feed mixer. So we'll get that dropped off. So I just need to get the rake on, uh, the baler on, sorry. She's just in here. go I will actually reset the bell counter this time if I can remember how to do it I can't do it on the keyboard there's a conflict with the keyboard controls for um, resetting the bell counter and I can't remember oh there we go I can only do it on the Xbox controller for some reason I'm not sure what conflict it is on the controls that stops that working I know that it's going to be too difficult because we're going to have to count how many bells we've got pretty easy. Well, that's unfolded. Just check we are doing the 220s because we can't wrap the 240s. Pretty sure it's the um, 220s we want, isn't it? I'm just going to have to double check that. Pretty sure our wrapper can do the 220s, not 240s. Uh, wrong menu. Let's just quickly double check. Bale wrappers, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, 220s. The largest it'll do. I've got a sneaky feeling the first bale may come out a little bit too big. Uh, which is not a massive issue because we can just give it to the sheep as they do take straight up grass. Uh, because there's already some material in there, it usually does the first bale. Although, actually, it's a bit strange. Completely got rid of all the straw, but it may still do the wrong size for the set, uh, first bale. I'd say sometimes it doesn't change over if there's material in there when you change the bale size. It says 6,000 litres, so we should be okay. So this is another one of those jobs, just making sure we make use of the grass while it was fully grown before we actually build on it. And just give us a little bit more silage, although I think we've probably got plenty because I'm not planning on getting a huge amount of cows. So we'll probably only get 10 to start with. I uh, probably won't get more than that, we'll just let them reproduce, which will probably take, I think it's nine months for cows to reproduce. Maybe a little bit longer, I can't remember. Oh, 
Oh, there's a few battles we've got so far. Uh, this this field was unfortunately wasn't fully fertilised as well because I forgot to do it. As soon as we finished the last cut I should have fertilised it and I forgot to do it. And then I could only get one round of fertiliser applied. So we won't get the full yield we could have done. Uh, but it should be a decent amount uh, nonetheless. Okay, that's the grass all balled up. We're not going to get another one out, even if we was to collect up the little bits that are knocking around. So we'll get that one folded up, and we'll just double check. So we've got 14 bales in total. So we'll get this put away in the shed. Now I'll get the bales wrapped up and get them out the way, and then we can look at getting this new cow shed built. Okay, all the grass bales have been wrapped up except one, which was the first one that came out, which is this one here. It did come out at 6,500 litres, so 500 litres more than it should be, and it wouldn't wrap it, so I've just given that to the sheep. So it's not gone to waste. So what we're going to do next is have a look again the cow pasture shed built. Now I did download a new one the other day that was released by FSG. I think it was FSG, let's go animals. And which one is it? Yeah, the old cow barn by FSG modding. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, it's a nice looking old uh, building, but it just doesn't quite fit in this area very well. It will fit, but I just, not how I'd like it to. It's a little bit too close to the sheep pasture for that bit going that way around and then that way it doesn't leave much space to get round it. And that way around as well you've got the same thing, it's just far too close to the sheep pasture so it doesn't quite fit how I'd want it to. Um, although it will actually fit in the space. Uh, the other thing as well, it's a shame that there's no option to change the colour, like colour selectable option. So we could have it in like a nice faded red. Uh, but that one won't fit. So the one I am going to go with is the Rustic Cow Barn from Elk Mountain Modding. Uh, this one's unfortunately not available on Mod Hub. Uh, it's only available direct from Elk Mountain Modding's Facebook page and the link that you can find there. Uh, this Again, this one it is ever so slightly a little bit bigger than I would like it to be to get it to fit in this space. But it does fit a lot better than the other one. So if we kind of get it somewhere, it's probably... Let me just turn off the rotation. So we can get all three rotation. I think that actual grass edge there is kind of a nice angle to get this at. If we bring it over that way a little bit, so we're not too close to the sheep pasture. Give us a little bit more room as well in, in front of it. And I think that'll fit in nicely there. It doesn't leave much of the grass field to connect to the other field, but we're getting plenty of grass off the area we've been cutting, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. So I think we'll go with that there. Uh, we'll need to just tidy up some of the landscaping around as it has sloped it up a little bit. So just there, so if we bring that up a little bit more there, and then we can just smooth that out a little bit so it's not such a steep drop off. I'll smooth that down around. Uh, that way it doesn't look too bad. I think we're all right that way. Let's just check this side. Uh, it doesn't look too bad there. And um, we'll just check as well here. Make sure there's no big ramp up to it, which looks a bit unsightly. I think we're okay there. So we'll get the painting, we'll go, just get some of the gravel. 
And we'll just fill in in front of it. Just roughly for now and then I'll go in and just tidy it up a little bit and sort it all out. So I'll bring that down just in front of there. And cover that across to there. Might need to get those bowels moved out of the way as well. That gives us a rough area to work with. And so I'm pretty much happy with that area. So what we'll do, we'll get rid of the grass field section. I think that's actually left the field in. It hasn't taken the field out for that pasture. Which, I, yeah, um, yeah, we'll get rid of all that, and we'll just paint grass texture in there, because I really don't want that as the actual field in there. So we'll just paint meadow grass in there. Uh, that bit's going to be a bit tricky to cut, so I'll get rid of that bit as well, and we'll leave a little bit more of gap along there. So we'll replay all this in a little bit better and uh, tidy it all up a in a minute. I will also get rid of that along there and all that grass. Oh, wrong one. So that's all the grass field done out the way. Get rid of that bit. Uh, what we'll do with the, the middle of this, we'll just paint it with the grass texture. And then paint meadow grass on top of that. And then I'll put some, a few rough patches in and a bit of animal mud and that to blend it all in after we've fully finished it. So I say this only at the moment is just a very rough texture just to cover the entire area. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I do like to use the free landscaping tools because it does waste a lot of money unless you're perfect first time, which is difficult to be. So we'll just cover these bits in. Uh, I'll leave that as patchy grass, I'm not too fussed about that because we may just plant a few more trees in this bit. Uh, possibly may get the a little shed in there for the bales. Um, but this bit at the back corner is not going to be really useful for anything. So I may put a few trees in there. Just to fill the space in a little bit. So I'll just put all the grass texture in. And then we'll leave that as it is. And we'll tidy all that up in a bit. So next job we'll get the plow hooked up. Uh, I'm just thinking we've only got the big plow now. <laughs> it might be a little bit big for what we need for this, but it's what we've got, so it's what we'll use. So we'll go and jump in the Steiger. I'll jump in the Steiger, not throw the Steiger. That's my uh, super strength enabled again for some reason. <laughs> There's one, one downside to the Xbox controller when super strength's on. Is to say that enter vehicle is also the same as throw object. So you go to enter your tractor and then you just throw it halfway across the map. So we can drop the, the rollers into the shed and then we'll get the plow hooked up. And then we can just join those two fields together, tidy up the edges of the grass field. And then we'll get that replanted with grass so it can start growing. Uh, we won't get another cut on it this year, but at least it will start growing for next year. Um, we can also try and get it fully fertilised as well for when we do come to cut it. Possibly in the spring for a bit more silage. Okay, so we're almost done with the grass sowing. I've completely redone the whole field rather than just leave the one patch that wasn't already grass just so it's all nice and even uh, 
Uh, there we go. That should be all okay. Yep, that's all showing as grass. So we can get these disconnected and then put away. Uh, drop that one off. Pull the bar back in and then walk that one back up there. I still need to do a little bit more tidying up with the landscaping down this one edge. It didn't look too bad, but once you start going around with the plough and the grass, it highlights a little bit more just how uneven it is on that one bit. So we'll need to tidy that up with the landscaping tool. And also... Uh, finished repainting the textures around the actual shed itself just to get it all blended in a little bit more uh, so it looks a little bit nicer so what we'll do is drop these off somewhere just so they're out of the way uh, get some out of the uh, the way from the store as well I'll probably just drop these down here for a bit A lot of tidying up we need to do, or I need to do at least. <laughs> so yeah, just down here, it, it was difficult to see, but now I've ploughed in, you can actually see where it's still very uneven. So I'll, what I'll probably do is bring the delete the field out and leave us a, a slightly bigger border between the actual grass field and there, and then smooth that off a little bit. And what we'll do first is actually the triggers just here. Yeah, and it looks like I need to do a little bit more landscaping there because that's floating a little bit. So I'll need to get these bells out of the way and probably level this off a little bit more. Bring it out a little bit further out and then smooth it down. And I may move this as well just a little bit closer to the edge of the shed up here a little bit. And then we've got a nice gap then to get access to the grass field. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, while we're there, while we're here, we'll buy the cows. So we'll go for the Holsteins, and we'll buy the 18-month-old, so they're producing straight away. Uh, the shed will hold 150. We're not going to go anywhere near that many. Uh, 60, I, I think 60 is going to be a little bit too much for how much hay and grass we've got. So I don't want to go over the top. So possibly 15, that's 24,750. Uh, which is an, a nice number of cows to start off with. We can always add to that if we find we've got way more feed than that'll consume. So there's 15 dairy cows. So we do need to give them water for this shed. So there is no automatic watering. So there's a water trough here. And we'll also need to give them some straw bedding and feed. It does also produce manure if you've got a manure pit, uh, which is something I'll didn't even consider actually just um, I'm not sure where we'll be able to fit one in now how we want silos extension I may have to have a look through mod hub and see what modded ones we've got yeah because there's a certain point on this one where you can't like you can't get it around the back so Yeah, it needs to be somewhere near around the front area, which could possibly get one. Over here, the trouble as well is they only go in the 90, 90, de 90 degree rotation, which the shed's obviously not. Um, yeah, I may. I'll have to go through model and see what's suitable for manure pits and see what'll work. See if I can find one that's more suitable to fit the space we've got. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is. Yeah, we need to get feed. So, let's have a look what feed mixers we've got available. So we may as well give them total mix ration straight away. So we've got animals. Uh, there's the little one which is only 11,900 litres. 
which I think may be a little bit difficult for the bales. We've got to get a decent mix on that one. So I think maybe the small Anderson will do. So 23,800. Or we could go for the slightly larger one, which is 28. Now we might as well go with this one. We can afford it. Why not? Uh, the only thing I don't like about this one is the bale trigger only comes to like there. Somewhere like about halfway down. So if you drop a full bale in, it'll drop below the bale trigger and then just sit at the bottom of the uh, feed mixer. Uh, we've got a water container. We've got the little one we can use that we've got for the sheep. So we don't need that. I don't think there's anything else we need to buy. Uh, we just need to get them some feed. Uh, water. I'll need to get these bales moved out of the way as well and sort out this landscaping, get all this tidied up. And then we can start some uh, milk production. I'll also probably just have a quick look on Mod Hub, see if we can find a suitable manure pit to put in. Because if we're going to be giving them straw bedding and we've got the option to make manure, we may as well utilize that as well. So I'll uh, go and do that and uh, we'll be back in a bit and it all looks slightly different and we can get some feed put in there. Okay, so I've tidied up the landscape a little bit just around the actual cow shed. Got the silage bales moved out of the way. Uh, done a little bit more painting in the pasture just to tidy things up a little bit. I moved over the windmill, although I still need to just landscape that little corner there. Just so it's not sunk in the ground. So we've got access to the grass field, which I've gone over. I've spread lime on it and fertilised it. So it's 66% fertilised, so it will need one more application of fertiliser when it starts growing. Um, I've also tidied up this little bit of area by the sheep barn. Just added a tree in here, a bit of bushes and a little grass. And put a small manure heap here. So this is connected to the ranch barn, as you can see down in the lower corner. So that is all connected. It's not the biggest one. Uh, but some of the other ones I couldn't find. They wouldn't place here because they were slightly out of range. Um, or they just didn't quite fit in. They was a little bit too big. That's the best one I could find at the moment. I also put a little track in around here. And a few more trees. So there's access to the grass field from this side as well. Uh, still, I've left this area clear because I may still put another shed in there. I've still not decided what to do with the actual bales themselves yet and where to put them. And I've got a little bit of water in there, so we just need to do some total mixed ration. So if we do try to work out with the best ratio for this mix, so it's 28,000 litres. These are six. So if we do two silage bales, I think we've got more silage than we've got hay at the moment. So I think if we do two silage, um, yeah, but I don't think we're going to quite pick up two with uh, the weight on the back. Let's just do one at a time. I'll have to try and find where I've left the waste. <laughs> uh, where did I put that? I think it's in the shed down there. So yeah, if we do two silage, that's 12. Let's see how much one straw bale is. They're 9,000, which I don't know if that's going to be a little bit too much. Uh, 8,000 litres of hay in each bale. So two silage will be 12, one hay will be 20,000 litres. Yeah, I'm trying to work out the best ratio for the size bales we've got. Maybe do three silage, one hay, and then the rest straw. I think that might work out until we've got a little bit more hay. So it'd be handy to have all the bales kind of next to each other so we're not driving all over the yard to get them.
Uh, then we'll, we'll give them one load of feed and then we'll just put a bale of straw in their feed mixer to give them some bedding and that's the cows will have everything they need so they can start producing milk So we still need to build another shed somewhere so we can get some of the larger equipment in. Uh, that will probably be a job we'll look at next time. As well as clearing a few trees as well. So hopefully this should give us a nice mix. Uh, there we go, I think that's full. There you go, 28,800 litres of total mix ration in there. We'll just put the rest of this straw bale in and we'll give that this to the cows for bedding. Uh, that should keep them going for a bit because there's only 15 in there. So we can close that now. I've just also finished topping up the water before we uh, finish off. So we've got the ranch barn with 15 cows in. So I've got 28,800 litres of total mix ration, 10,000 litres of water. So we just need to give them a little bit of straw and then they've got everything they need. Let's park this up out the way. And give them their straw bedding. Yeah, so still a little bit more work to do around the actual yard itself. Um, but I'm happy with how it looks at the moment. So uh, turned out quite nice, I think. Uh, but let me know what you think as well. It'd be great to hear what your comments are and your thoughts are on what we've done here so far. But it really gives me the motivation now to get on another map like uh, Crater Lake or another forestry map and completely build up a new farm from scratch again uh, but with the option to get more created fields in because we are a little bit limited on this this map to the areas where we can actually put buildings in and farm buildings, fields well, that's the cows all sorted for some reason I can't drive this Steiger. I just need to find somewhere to put the feed mixer. Which would probably be best in this shed here. But I try to change some of the equipment out. Yeah, well, I really need to try and sort out somewhere else to put the bales. Uh, but yeah, that's the cows in. So... Really nice building for Melt Mountain Modding. Um, if you've not checked out their Facebook page, then go and give them a follow. They're currently working on a new farmhouse, uh, which looks really nice as well. So I think we'll leave it there for today. I think we've got everything done I wanted to try and get done today. So we've got the soybeans harvested, grass cut, silage bales made, and the new cow shed in and some cows. This is our first 15 cows. Uh, we probably won't buy any more. We'll just let them reproduce. I say I don't think we'll go beyond the next in-game year. So we'll finish up next the next lot of harvesting and we'll probably then look to move on to a new map. So yeah, if you do have any suggestions on what you'd like to see next in terms of map-wise, then please do let me know in the comments as well. I'd really appreciate that so I can start checking out some maps for uh, the next series so I hope you have enjoyed this episode if you have then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up I really do appreciate that and if you've not yet subscribed to the channel then please do consider subscribing got more Farm Simulator 22 videos coming up 
And again, a big thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.